Hey guys, welcome back to Paradise. Today is her long awaited video of how we're going to redo our screens on our pop-up truck camper. So if you're new to Paradise on Pennies, uh, it's me and my wife and our rescue dogs and we've been living nomadically for the past six years and the past four years inside this truck camper. This truck camper is a 1995 Shadow Cruiser, so it is a little old and it's in time to uh, replace the screens. So our screens we've been dealing with for the last couple years. This is one of our old ones. If you can see all the uh, holes in there, uh, this is what we've been dealing with, with bugs getting in and everything. So we tried to fix it a while ago and our fix was actually just to sew it. So we have like stitches in there and everything and it actually worked pretty well for, for a couple years and then it just really started to deteriorate to the point where all of our sewing patches got put into other patches so then it just kept there was really nothing to sew into so the screen was pretty much just turning into a bunch of stitches so we had to figure out a way to replace the screen and there's really no good or easy way to replace it so today we're going to show you how we did it so we're actually going to show you two different ways of doing it one is going to be kind of uh, the more spendy way, I guess, but a quicker way to do it. And the other one was going to be the cheaper, but more labor intensive way to do it. So the reason we did both of these ways is one, while we live in our truck camper, so we don't have a house to go to in order to do these things. So we have to do it while we're living in it, which makes it a little more difficult. We were up north when we started this project and there's lots of mosquitoes and bugs. And we're like, we need to do this now because our screens are getting too many holes in them. And then we actually ended up finding a giant roll of screen that somebody was throwing away on the side of the road so we're like now is the time to do it so the first way that we did it was actually with velcro so we used this is what we use this is industrial strength velcro um, it's about 20 bucks a box I think but this um, it actually works really well um, it does come in like a, a really thick roll so it usually comes and it usually we, we split it in half so it's usually about that wide so it's a really thick piece of Velcro, but you don't need it to be that thick. So you can actually cut it down the middle. You'll have to use some uh, decent size, uh, a decent sharpened scissors. It's really hard to cut through and uh, try to rip it right in half. Or if you have a X-Acto knife or anything like that, a razor blade and cut it down the center. That way you get twice as much length out of it. So each one of these is, uh, what is it? 15 feet. So 15 feet. So you get 30 feet out of it when you cut it in half. So the first thing we did was rip this in half. Then next, you're gonna to have to get your screen. So find whatever screen you're gonna be using, buy it or try to find some. And what we did was folded it over so you had like a hem on this ends. So it's a little thicker on the ends to, uh, to deal with. And then measure how big your windows are and then go a little bit, probably about an inch or two over on each side. So it's actually gonna be bigger than the screen. So if you look on the inside of these, these are actually sewed right into the canvas. So you can't really um, do that with this. You have to go over it and then probably sew it into the canvas on the outside. So you're gonna need a little bit of leeway on the outside in order to uh, cover that canvas part. So you're gonna have to find somebody with the sewing machine or sometimes even little towns that have uh, sewing centers or quilt shops or stuff like that have sewing machines that you're able to use. So you can go there and just throw a few stitches into these. Just make sure again to give yourself a enough room on uh, on the ends there to go around the whole perimeter because it's going to be going on the outside you can't really do it on the inside because your solar shade folds down so the bottom layer or the bottom whole part strip you won't be able to attach anything to because that's there so it's going to have to go on the outside because there's nothing there to block it so now what we did was actually take the velcro and you're going to take the side that's not like the fuzzy side just kind of the thinner side that side's gonna be your thick side, so you don't want that side right now. So you're gonna to wanna to take this thin side here, and you're actually going to, you're gonna pull the, the tape off the back of here so it's sticky, and you're gonna stick it to your screen here. So preferably on the inside where the, uh, the stitch is thrown there, um, put that on the inside. Um, so then you're gonna have your Velcro attached. You can stick it on there, it's not gonna, specifically hold that but what you're going to do next is actually take a staple gun or just a regular stapler and then you're just going to put staples like every every so often and just kind of stair step them so it kind of makes an impenetrable barrier between those two and that's going to hold that velcro onto your screen so now the reason that you're using this side is actually just because it's thinner it's going to take a lot of effort in order to get to that stapler to go through the other side and the other side 
is we are actually going to, that's what we're gonna stick directly to the canvas up there. So this way is actually going to be removable. So if you ever want to remove your screens completely and like replace it with a new one, you're actually going to be able to replace this. Um, and even you can take the staples out of this if you needed to and reuse this again. So that's the nice part about the Velcro one. It's gonna be a little more spendy again, but you're going to be able to remove the screen if you need to. Okay, so now that you have it stapled on to your screen, the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just attach it to your canvas. Big thing to want to uh, make sure that you're gonna do is to clean the canvas first. Those get really dirty, really dusty. We're always on back roads. So you're gonna to have to get some soap and water and just scrub around the canvas there, at least the area. You can kind of hold your screen up and see exactly where it's gonna to go to. Just make sure to clean that area because you want a nice clean surface in order for that Velcro to attach to. Otherwise, that dirt is going to make the Velcro not as adhesive and it's gonna fall off sooner or later. So now you're just gonna to want to get some sort of stair step in order to get yourself up to at least that level. So you can stand up there and then if you can have uh, your significant other or whoever is with you on the inside with like a board or something that you can kind of press up against the inside. So when you're sticking it to the outside, it has something solid to press up against instead of just kind of pushing against the air. So you're gonna to wanna to start with the top. So just kind of pull that whole strip off and make sure that's straight and taut and make sure you have enough for the sides to be attached to the canvas on the sides. And then do one side at a time, you do those two sides and then do the bottom strip last and attach it to it. We've had ours on for probably a couple months now. We've been doing a lot of back roads, a lot of up and down movements, or up and down with the, the topper. They have to tuck it in and everything. And that Velcro is actually really still really strong. It's, it hasn't come off in any spots at all. And the good thing is, is if it does come off in any spots, um, you just take some needle and thread and sew through it. Um, the only thing I found out so far is a few spots I've had to on one of our back ones, it was starting to come off. Um, when you push the needle through, it will get goopy from the Velcro because this back side is really thick and it's got a, it's industrial strength Velcro, so it's really sticky. So when you push it through, you might have some goop that comes off on the needle, but just keep some WD-40 close by and you can be able to clean off your needle. But it's easy to have two people around, so you can kind of shove it through and then the other person can shove it back through the other way. Um, but just kind of put some a few stitches in the spots that are falling off and that seems to be working so far for us. And one other thing I was actually thinking about using was a hook like this. These are like the C hooks. So you can kind of do this with one person and kind of shove it through one side and it's supposed to come back through and then you don't have to go in and out and in and out or inside the camper and outside the camper. This can just come right back to you. But when you're going through the canvas and the Velcro, this does not work. It's very difficult. I had a thimble and everything and it still does not push through. It just gets really gooped up. It's just too much for this to work with. But this is what you use if you want to do it the other way that I was talking about. So the second way is you're just going to have your screen and you're going to sew a hem in it just like this. So it's going to be the same exact screen, except for this, you're just going to sew directly to the canvas. This is going to be really labor intensive. It's going to take a long time. That's why we didn't really choose to do it unless we're going to be in a spot with no bugs for a couple days because it's going to take some while, take a while because you're going to want to put, this will actually work. It'll go through and back out but you're gonna to have to stitch literally and sew this thing directly to the canvas of the camper. So we're gonna try that at some point. We weren't a big fan of it at first just because we're gonna to have to put more holes in the canvas and I don't know how, how long the canvas is gonna hold up in the first place. So I really didn't wanna put more holes in it than I needed to. So we went with the, uh, the Velcro so far and it seems to be holding. But if you wanna do a more permanent way, again, this way will work, but then you will not be able to remove this unless you want to cut all of the thread off. And one more thing that was really nice actually about the Velcro way was actually that we just kept the, sc the old screens on while we put the new screens on. So we really didn't even have to have it open at all in the first place. We just Velcroed it to the outside and then the, extra, the other screen. And when, once the new screen was up, you could cut the old screen out if you wanted to, or you could just leave it up and leave it as a double layer of protection against bugs, or it usually blocks a lot of air. But so sooner or later, then you can cut that out. You don't have to do that right away. All right, and there you have it, guys, how to replace your screens on a pop-up truck camper. Hopefully this was helpful. If you guys have any questions on anything that we did, make sure to leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys out there.